Is it nepotism or hard work and talent? We'll let you decide. Today, we're looking at our Mzansi celebs and their famous family members. First up, we have Mzansi's favorite sports journalist, Robert Marawa. The super sport legend has been delivering us news and entertainment for years. But did you know that his sister is an entertainer too? I've had a very interesting career in media. You might remember Vanessa Marawa as the winner of the first season of Survivor South Africa, Panama. But that's not all. Like her well-known brother, Vanessa is also a radio presenter, TV presenter, and media personality. So success is a genetic thing, huh? Then there's Nomzamo and Zamani Mbata. Name a flyer brother and sister duo. We'll wait. Both Mbatas are actors. You'll never guess what Zamani's first choice was. He wanted to be a soccer player. But that dream didn't work out. So, his big sis inspired him to go into acting too. I think I'd say, as a young man, where I got all the support from, it has to be my family. Don't you just love a supportive family? Then we have those siblings who are same-same but different. Many are surprised to learn that SK Koza and Abdul Koza are brothers. Why? Maybe because these two are like chalk and cheese. They're both successful actors, but SK tends to trend for all the wrong reasons. Let's talk about your brother, man. Yeah? How is he? Because there was a time the whole country was worried about him, man. He's previously been in the spotlight for sharing a controversial bedroom video on his Instagram. Then there's the cheating allegations and the accusations that SK doesn't provide for his kids. Meanwhile, Abdul is a quiet family man who's hardly in the media besides his acting roles. Move over sibling duos. It's time for the Modisele sisters to shine. These three beautiful and talented sisters have been taking South Africa by storm. Rifilwe is a model, TV and radio host, and even a voiceover artist. Did you know she is South Africa's first ever model with albinism? Yeah, the girl is a trendsetter. So mama, I've made it. <laughs> In the meantime, Bontle has been tearing up the scenes as an actress, dancer, choreographer, singer, and model. In 2015, she starred in the dance film Hear Me Move. That's how she got an Africa Movie Academy Award nomination for Best Actress in a Supporting Role. And then there's baby sister, Candice. She's recently let her artistic side loose. Candice describes herself as an actress, storyteller, host, and social entrepreneur. Did you know she's the executive producer and host of the 5 Minute Call Show on YouTube? She's also the founder and chief executive of Sele Jewelry. Um, so... Talk about an impressive family. Let's move on to our favorite cousins, Boiti Tulo and Thick Leonce. Boiti is a popular TV personality, rapper, actress, and businesswoman. The ability to be a showstopper and trendsetter must run in the blood. Thick Leonce made a name for herself by being a body positive influencer and model. Can you guess how she changed the game? Thick Leonce is the first plus size model in Mzansi. There's a chubby girl doing something that we don't normally see walking on the runway for one of the biggest brands in the country for an amazing designer. Pave the way, sis. Just pause for a moment and let us know in the comments how you feel about Thick Leonce strutting the runways. Next up, we're talking about famous children and their famous parents. Dumisani Dlamini is a veteran actor and producer in Mzansi. My dad is from Durban, South Africa. In his heyday, Dumisani ventured into America and met Deborah Elizabeth Sawyer, a white Jewish woman. They linked up and Deborah fell pregnant. But by the time Doja Cat was born, Dumisani was off to buy some milk. The rapper revealed that she has never met her father. And now that she's famous, it seems Dumisani has been trying to be relevant in her life. Her dad jumped in when Doja Cat bagged a Grammy for Best Pop Duo Group Performance alongside SZA. He took to his timeline and congratulated his estranged daughter. South African social media users quickly called him out for trying to steal her shine. They even accused him of being a deadbeat dad. Yeah, the drama. Do you think Dumisani was trying to steal her shine? Let us know in the comments. But not all celeb parents have whack relationships with their kids. Lesedi Matsunyane has a wonderful bond with her mom, Connie Ferguson. Like her mama, Lesedi has ventured into acting, and she's also a casting director. She and her sister, Alicia, always gush over their superstar mom. For Connie's 53rd birthday, Lesedi posted the sweetest message. Today, 53 years ago, you were brought into this world. And have you shown off what grace, elegance, kindness, and faithfulness looks like with an ease we all envy? 
Thank you for your love and strength for our family, she wrote. Remember Zola from SABC 2's telenovela Keeping Score? Her real name is Bahumi Madisakwane, and she's a super successful actress. Could it be because her father is none other than Somizi Mklongo? My next question um, is going to be how, how much did he help you in there? None. <laughs> well, nepotism is a thing, but we can't deny the talent that flows through Bahumi's veins. After all, she comes from a line of acting greats. Her grandparents were pioneers in Zansi's acting scene. Mary Twala and Ndabam Klongo have been called the towering giants of our local entertainment industry. Mary and Ndaba have inspired many actors, actresses, directors, and producers today. They have been hailed as the most talented despians to ever grace South Africa's soil. All this talk of talented blood just reminds us, Natasha Tahane is well known for her roles in Blood and Water, Scheme Sam, and The Queen. She's a talented actress, model, and media personality. She even studied at the New York Film Academy. But her roots are political, not entertainment. Natasha Zumkulu was none other than Archbishop Desmond Tutu. The word on the block is that the former Archbishop used his influence to convince the government to pay for Natasha's US studies. The news slipped in 2017. How much did you save before you went to, to America? Because that you paid for it, right? No. Oh, OK. I got funding. Natasha said she was awarded hundreds of thousands to further her studies abroad. Social media users were quick to jump in on the conversation. One even tweeted, at least Desmond Tutu was able to influence the government to give his grandchild Natasha money to study in the USA. When are your grandfather wants you to slaughter goats and cows for him when he's dead, but he never left a butchery. Hectic. That's it for this episode of The Lux Life. Before we sign off, drop a comment and let us know your thoughts. Is it talent or nepotism that helped these celebs succeed? Join us again next time when we'll be looking at another who's who. Like and subscribe. See ya.